I was listening to the audio Bible and I was listening to the book of Jeremiah and the book of Isaiah. And the information in these books are so similar, very, very similar. And God wanted the nation of Israel to obey him. But most of the time, they would not. <laughs> so God would have to punish the nation of Israel. So one of the main punishments that I was noticing was God would send enemy nations to war against the nation of Israel. And in some cases, they would overtake Israel and treat them harshly in some cases. I don't think in every case. And then after a period of time when the nation of Israel would humble themselves, they would cry out to God and God would set them free after a period of time. And in some cases too, God would punish the nation of Israel with plagues, famines. I'm not sure about droughts. Or he would make it to the point where it would not rain. I believe droughts, yes. I may have to look over it again. And our life is much more simple than what most people think it really is. For instance, I made a video recently about how life seemed to me, in my opinion, how life seemed to me as an ant farm. And yes, we do have freedom of will where we can choose to do God's will or our own will, yes. But let me say this too, our life or we are like God's pets. And I am not saying that in a rude way or a mean way. And I am not saying that we are like dogs, cats, gerbils, hamsters, so on and so on. I am not saying that. Try to place things in the context of what I am speaking. When you have a pet or when you buy a pet, what do you do for your pet? You give your pet food, water, or something to drink. You give your pet a place to stay, yes. If your pet do what you want it to do, what do you do? You are going to reward your pet in some cases, right? Okay, in some cases, if your pet does not do what you want it to do, you are going to punish your pet. Okay, what does God do? Doesn't he do the same thing? And a person may say, hey, Kevin, you know, I work and I make money. This is why... <clears throat> I am able to eat and drink and so on and so on. If God wanted to, he can let all crops die. He can let a famine hit us where nothing is going to grow. He can make all rain stop. So you can work all day long. <laughs> what are you going to eat and drink? And some people may joke and say, well, I will eat other people, which they were doing too. Back in the Old Testament, they were eating other people, their kids and stuff like that. So what I am trying to say, we are like pets. For instance, God placed us on this earth for his pleasure. 
basically. Yes, we are here. Yes, we have freedom to choose and stuff like that. Yes, I get that. But we are here for God's pleasure, foremost. And he monitors everyone as well. What do you do for your pet? You monitor your pet, right? Like you buy a pet to be entertained, right? The pet is for your pleasure, right? Aren't we here for God's pleasure as well? Yes. Some people believe, or how can I say this? Can a pet be greater than its owner? Of course not. But in many cases, there are people who see themselves as better or superior than God, which is impossible. This life is much more simple than what you think. What is the meaning of life? The answer to that is much more simple than what you think. <laughs> we are here for God's pleasure. There goes your answer. Basically, I pray that makes sense. Like I said, I am not saying that we are like dogs and we live in dog houses and we are like rats and stuff like that. No. Yes, we, when we serve God, we are God's sons and daughters. Yes, I get that. Yes. But in the context that I am speaking of, we are like pets, basically. Basically, so I pray that this makes sense. So if you are trying to live your life outside of God, when he is in control of everything, that is foolish. You are wasting your time. Trust me. Like, God is in more control of this world than what you really think. And like I said, when the nation of Israel would not obey God the way that he wanted them to do, he would send heathen nations, people who did not believe in God, to attack Israel. What do you believe is going to happen to us if some people or other people continue to disobey God? So no wonder why this life or this world is in so much chaos. This is why we are going to war and many people are going to die. Why? Like, it is so silly. Many people say, well, what type of God will allow kids to die and a lot of people to be killed. Well, a God that wants you to do what he wants you to do. When you don't do it, he is going to kill many people. Well, I don't want to serve a God like that. What other choice do you have? If you can't overthrow God, if you can't beat him up <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> take away his power and position and stuff like that, why fight against him? Why rebel against him when you can't win? Until you can make your own world and make your own humans and stuff like that, it is smart to obey God. And you can call him a tyrant or whatever you want to call them. If you can't beat him, you have to serve him. Like I said, this life is much more easy to understand what you think. And when we don't serve God, whether you agree with it or not, he curses our children. So our children have to go through something that was placed on them because of our disobedience to God. So who fault really is it? 
like with all of these kids dying and with all of these kids that have these particular handicaps, who fault is it really? We have to point the finger at ourselves. Like I said, if you can't overthrow God and take his power and his rank and stuff like that, you have to do what he say. Like I said, can a pet ever be superior to its owner? <laughs> of course not. So why even try? You are a pet, just like me and every other human. I pray that makes sense. God bless.